I live my life a quarter mile at a time. Nothing else matters, not the mortgage, not the store, not my team and all their bullshit. So this is my review-ish of The Fast and The Furious from 2001. Let me get some negatives out of the way first. So, first negative, this movie was only an hour and 46 minutes, right? It felt like it was three hours long. I don't know if it's just because I, I was watching it late at night and I was tired, but I'm, I'm not even like all that tired. But it just felt so long. The scenes felt so long for a movie called Fast. It sure did go slow, <laughs> but I'm t- like, I don't. I seriously, this is like an anomaly to me. I don't know if HBO Max was just messed up and it wasn't an hour and forty six minutes. <laughs> but I, I paused it and I was like, oh my god, I'm only halfway through. This is insane. Another problem with the film, and this happens a lot with films like this for me, at least. Maybe it's because I don't listen to every single exact word that the characters say or whatever. (laughs) But I never know what's fully going on. I only grasp the um, minimal amount, like, enough to understand what's happening, but not know what's going on. Like, the ending scene where they're chasing the truck. Why are they chasing the the trucks? Like, I I thought the... The Mexicans were chasing the trucks, or the Asian guys. It, hey, it's not racist for me to say that. They call them that in the movie. Um, yeah, I was like, huh, what's what's happening? I am so confused. Um, but like I, like I said, I understand the goals of the characters. Get to the truck, and then, oh, now it's to save the guy. Um, I would say that's my only real negatives, but those were some pretty big negatives. I still enjoyed the film. I feel like the beginning was like really really strong that first race was super entertaining let's talk about the first race too i don't think it's they used any cg or maybe they did that first race later on in editing or maybe it was first in editing but the editing was so weird and i figured oh this is just how these early movies do it but the the rest of the movie is not edited like that at all which makes me think oh it's not a cg thing it's a because that's something that I really appreciate about this film is that how it feels just like, um, what's, what are they called? They have not like Disney World and stuff like, uh, car shows, like stunt car shows. Um, I don't know if later on they end up using a lot more CG. They may keep up with the practical effects and stuff, but it's really entertaining to watch. This film felt like an early 2000s action movie. Uh, like it really felt like that. Talking about editing and stuff, the cinematography in the day, they look, I can't remember, I don't know if this is from, like, if they're in California or not, I'm gonna assume so, but it looks so dirty, and I don't know if they, I'm sure they wanted it to look like that, but man, it looks weird, and the characters always look like they're sweating, once again, I don't know if that's, like, someone in makeup was like, this is, this is what I want the movie to look like, you know, I want it to look like they're all sweating their balls off, you know, but that's just what they all look like. Um, I don't remember a lot of the characters' names. I just, and like, even if I do, I still see it as Paul Walker, Vin Diesel, Paul Walker's girlfriend, Vin Diesel's girlfriend, angry guy with beard, sidekicks. <laughs> but no, this, it was more entertaining than I thought it'd be. I think when I realized I was only halfway through, I kind of got like annoyed with it. But thinking about it, there are really no parts where I wasn't where I was just completely disengaged. Like, there was no part where I wanted to pull out my phone and play on Twitter, you know? So that's, I don't know how the the movie handled that, but it did it. I don't know. So he's like an undercover cop, but then he reveals himself at the end. That was interesting. And then they had the race at the end. I didn't know what the race was about. I don't know. I Like I said, this movie was less than two hours long, but it feels like I have so much to talk about it, you know? What were, like I said, I'm so confused with a lot of stuff. Like, I think that the Asian guys were mad at Vin Diesel because something with their sister or something, and then he was mad because someone ratted him out, and that was uh, Brian, Paul Walker. So now he's, like, wanting to get them? I don't know. I don't Like I said, the movie was entertaining. I love... I'm not even much of a car guy, but I can respect the... Um, a, you know, the effort put in to have the car stuff be interesting. And I'm just saying, like, how long until that gets stale? You know, I think every movie has its big action scene. I think this one was a train. I think a lot of the fans consider that the train scene to be the big one. But it's like how, 
interesting does that get? That's why they keep trying to one-up themselves. That's why, I don't know if they actually do this, but in the new one, they go to space or whatever. You know, because they're just trying to keep one-upping themselves. So I'm just wondering when does a bunch of cars driving around get, you know, boring. I don't know. I'm definitely interested in the series now. Like, I never... I knew nothing about this series, so I didn't have any interest in it. And now that I've seen the first one, it's like, well, where do they go from here, you know? So, that was my uh, review-ish of the, the Fast and the Furious from 2001. Next is Too Fast, Too Furious. So, interested in watching that. Y'all see it tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching, and video over.